Alright, so what we have here is my uh, Microscience Deluxe Microscope. 48 pieces. Missing about 90% of them. Oh, it's Deluxe alright. Deluxe for a 12 year old, maybe. So uh, basically what we have in here, or what you would have in here, if I wasn't missing all of it, you would have, um, I believe that's the spot for the instructions that I have lost in the uh, floor somewhere. Oh yeah. No decor comments on the decor of the room, please. Because a lot of productive stuff gets done in here, and uh, cleanliness is secondary. Well, you would have a test tube, a stirring rod, an eyedropper, a screwdriver for uh, undoing some of the miscellaneous screws that are on the uh, microscope unit itself. You have a magnifying glass that I believe I didn't even get when I got this. I might have. We had uh, one blank slide that I managed to break when I was about seven. We have a prepared slide. So this is basically a glass slide that has already been pre-prepared. And then we have basically like a uh, prepared card that you can use. All it is is a laminated piece of plastic, which is kind of cheap, but... Well, we have two collection vials. We have an extra light bulb that I am not certain works. And then we have a glass, couple of uh, glass slide covers. I think I still actually have some of these. I have some. You can see in there, I have some uh, glass slide covers. Let's get the microscope out and uh, demonstrate it. F***ing camera was paused the entire time I tried doing that, so now I have to do it again. Uh, you can see on the front it boasts the uh, different um, zoom modes. You have 100 times, 600 times, and uh, 1200 times. I'll get into that in a second. We have one adjustment knob. There's no coarse or fine, it's just this and nothing else. You can tilt it. That's also for use with the uh, mirror, because it is a dual light source. There's not really much else, and um, it basically works like any other microscope. You have two pieces of uh, magnifying glass in there. Well, you can see that, and you've also got the, uh, there's a piece of uh, demagnifying glass in there. Uh, what we also have are a different color availability sources. So I'm gonna flip this like this show them to you. Basically this is a color wheel that allows you to select different kinds of uh, colors. The one at the far bottom is the one that is selected and right now it is the small. The small as possible, then it gets bigger here, bigger here, bigger, and the biggest is right there. And then you've also got uh, three colors. You have green, blue, yellow, and red. And then you go right back to the beginning. Now let me get into this dual power thing. But basically it uses the uh, lamp that you saw. And I'm going to try and use it using the mirror that it also has. Someone's in trouble. Oh crap, it sounds like it's getting closer too. Maybe you can get a glimpse as to what's going on. You might be able to see what is inside. And that's just a basic glimpse of what you can see. 100 times. Six hundred times. And uh, twelve hundred times. Those refer to the different um, zoom levels, as you can see indicated there. The smaller one is 100. The largest one, which is right there in front of you, is 1200. And of course you can spin this light around. You can turn it like that, or you can roll it in all various directions like that as well. And on the bottom we have the base that is very dirty and so accurately tells us its location of manufacture. But there's more to it than that. 
underneath, as you can remove this little rubber piece, that is what it looks like, but there's more. See that screw? That's what the screwdriver is for. Because if you remove that screw, you will see two batteries. These are not the originals. I removed the originals in my previous video of this microscope because the originals had failed. You want to watch these because these will leak and if they leak they will make a corrosive mess and well, well that's no good now is it? And that concludes my video basically on the Microscience Deluxe Microscope. If you have any comments feel free to leave them down below. Hope to see you next time. Till then.